for five minutes. I thank the chair. Um, Ms. Ho, I want to direct these questions to you and, and I guess my comments also. Uh, we have a situation in Congress where we have uh, a large number of programs that are unauthorized. The programs uh, were originally set up with a sunset provision, typically five years. Uh, the, um, the, the five years has expired, and, and I want to just, uh, there are actually 1,200 programs that have now expired, and Congress refuses to do its job and review those programs. When Congress pretended that it cared about spending, it set up a two-step process, and the first step was to authorize a program, and the second step was to appropriate to the authorized program. The uh, rules of Congress for the last 50 years have included a provision that uh, uh, requires Congress not to appropriate to an unauthorized program. What's so interesting about that is Congress waives its own rules for each appropriations bill so that it can bypass the responsibility of actually uh, um, uh, appropriating only to, to authorized programs. The purpose of this, obviously, is that Congress, uh, as responsible to the American people, should be reviewing these programs, determining if these programs need to be expanded, contracted, amended in some way so that they are more uh, responsible. My, my question has to do with the interaction uh, or interplay of the Chevron Doctrine with the concept of Congress's responsibility in overseeing these particular programs. Yes, thank you for that, th thank you for that thoughtful question. Um, and I agree that the scenario that you lay, lay out highlights, I think, one of the, the critical aspects and why I think it's so important that we're here today having this discussion um, is, um, it is it is as um, important and salutary um, for Congress to exert um, its lawful authority under the system that our founders uh, designed and that when Congress, when Congress doesn't, and we shouldn't be surprised to see other branches um, uh, sort of ex exploiting that, that lack of action. So I think, your, I think your, your, your question really highlights the important role um, that Congress has to play um, in ensuring that our system of separation of powers uh, that the founders bequeathed to us um, remains, remains vibrant and effective in safeguarding individual rights and liberties. Thank you for that question. It, and I have to say, I think that you are far too kind. You understand that you're testifying in Congress, um, and you are a gentle lady from uh, the great state of Texas, and I uh, uh, respect all those things. But the reality is Congress has failed to do its job. And part of the problem and the reason for these administrative agencies overstepping their bounds, and the one that gets under my skin, and I'm sure my good friend from Wyoming, Ms. Hageman, would agree with me on this, is the WOTUS rule. It comes up every time the Democrats uh, get into uh, the White House, uh, the uh, waters of the U.S., um, and every time uh, our, our, my district um, actually uh, touches, borders the state of Wyoming, and um, we share water. And uh, if the Democrats get to um, regulate ditch water in my district, in every puddle in my district, uh, we're going to have problems. And, and so uh, the idea that these agencies can expand uh, their authority is really they are filling a vacuum that Congress has created. And, and my point, and I'm, I'm hoping uh, to get your comment on this, my point is that without Congress's neglect, without Congress's failure to act, we wouldn't be dealing with the RAINS Act right now because we would actually be doing our job every day of, of overseeing the, the functions in the executive branch. Yes, Your Honor, I think the founders um, well understood and anticipated um, the, the, the very, I think, dysfunction you describe, which is it, 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 it creates real problems in our system of separation of powers when one branch uh, does not exert um, its lawful authority, does not do its job. And so for this branch, as you highlight, this branch's role um, in our constitutional form of government is to make law. And so when Congress does not 
um, when Congress passes, say, vague laws um, or when Congress does not act at all. It upsets the, the system of, of, of checks and balances. I yield back. Thank you.